I'm going to talk to you guys about a very high yield OMM topic and I kid you not, it's going to be on every Comlex you take and this is probably one of the most important topics to review and know and don't worry, I have figured out a very easy way to remember all of this that will simplify your guys' life completely. So viscerosomatic reflexes, we know these are visceral type reactions in our organs that cause pain and structural changes to our um, tissue around our spine and such. So they are going to present a scenario where someone is ill or is having some symptom and they're going to ask you what sympathetic level or what spine level this person is going to have tissue texture abnormalities to. So here is all you have to know. Sympathetic is house of golden, T1 through L2. That is all you got to know. Parasympathetic is the occipital atlanto joint and sacrum. Read the questions very carefully. And honestly, the key to getting all of these right is just to know if they're asking for a sympathetic or a parasympathetic um, answer. So for your sympathetic, House of Golden is all you really need to put on your cheat sheet for that day and have this committed to memory. So first, I want you guys to draw out the House of Golden. Here is kind of what it looks like. And if this is new to you guys, we will review this. But please take a minute, pause the video, and fill in which levels from T1 to L2 each, uh, each section fits into. So this is the guide that I used to answer all the questions I had on Comlex. Like I put this on my cheat sheet as soon as I sat down to take the exams. Um, and we just have to remember the top of the house is T1 through T4. These are the head and neck, heart and lungs. Now the middle part is T5 through 9, which is our upper GI. And then on the right is T10 through T12 which is the, it's the R letters, right? So renal, right colon, reproductive organs. So the room on the right, and then the room on the left in, um, is T12 through L2, which is left colon and pelvis. And this is honestly all you have to know to get all these questions, I kid you not. So let's run through some examples that you can use and you most commonly will run into when you are taking the exam. So let's test your knowledge here. Someone presents with hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, they're, they're either super jittery and like sweaty and they have hair and nail changes or they're really like sluggish and they're gaining weight and they also have hair and nail and skin changes. What do you think is going to be the answer? They're going to give you like a, a T1, T7, T10, L2 and you have to like figure out which one it is and I know it can be super confusing. But all you have to remember is choosing the choice that is either T1 through T4. That is it. It involves the neck, the thyroid is in the neck. That's all you have to know. That, and then you move on to the next question. Okay, someone presents with heart failure, swelling in their legs. They're having difficult, you know, like pulmonary edema and they can't walk very far because they get dyspneic. Um, you have, again, answers. T1, T5, T10, T12. What is the answer? Well, T1 through 4. See, this is easy, right? All you have to know is this house of golden. So now you have a patient that presents to the ER with right lower quadrant pain for the past couple hours, isn't feeling very well, has a fever, has elevated white count, and you do an OMM exam, which probably won't ever happen in the real world on a very sick patient, but you do an OMM exam and you feel they have some tissue te texture changes that are really warm and... Um, and you, and you were like, okay, well, this is probably appendicitis. And so then the exam asks you, okay, what, what is, what's the sympathetic innervation of what's going on? Where are you finding the tissue texture changes? You'll remember the appendix is attached to the right colon. So we're going to remember from our house of golden, boom, right there, T10 through T12. Any answer option that is T10 through T12, that's going to be it. Move on. Aw, so you have a cute little kiddo that comes in with an earache. Mom says that he's been really irritated and can't really eat and drink. He's got a fever. He's been going to daycare. All right, so you do an ear exam and you find that he has a bulging tympanic membrane. 
Um, he also has some sore throat and some redness in his pharynx. Um, and then you do an OMM exam on the kid and the kid obviously isn't going to like that very much, but you do it anyway. And where is the tish tissue texture going to be? Remember House of Golden, T1 through T4, boom. It's in the head. Anything in the head, that's all you got to know. And that's the answer. So now you have an older person coming in for diverticulitis. They've had some um, stool changes. They have a fever. They said they ate seeds. Um, and they're not obviously feeling well from this. They have a history of diverticulosis. You do a CT scan and you find that they have all these different outpouchings. So confirmed. So you do an OMM exam and you find that they have tissue texture changes. And they're like, what sympathetic level would you treat? Um, so most likely, you remember left colon, this person is having some diverticulos diverticulitis there. And the answer is going to be T12 through L2. Any option they have, if they give you L1 or they give you L2, just pick that answer and move on. I don't think they're going to ask you to differentiate like too much between the specifics. Um, of course, you can memorize every little detail of every organ and which level it is. But for the exam, honestly, I'd never really encountered um, the nuances very much. Next question. Person presents to the ER with a kidney stone. They have... Um, bloody urine, they have um, a positive CVA test, um, they're, they're in excruciating pain, and they do a CT scan and they find a stone in the ureter, doesn't matter if it's left or right, it's, it's there. Um, and they're going to say, where, where is the vis uh, viscerosomatic reflex or sympathetic tension going to be? And you're going to remember House of Golden, it's going to be in the renal section, so T10 through T12. So pretty easy. Next, you have a woman presenting with uterus or ovary um, issues like endometriosis, or they have a fibroid, or maybe even an ectopic pregnancy, like any of these scenarios. Remember what um, category of the house of golden this is going to be in. So anything that has to do with reproductive system, it's obviously going to be in this right room category. So T10 through T12. So hopefully you guys are catching on to this. This is not even that hard at all. Like this is actually so much easier once you have this memorized. Prostatitis. A guy comes in, he's got um, swelling and pain and fever and um, the prostate gland is enlarged and um, so they're going to ask you where where is the tissue texture going to be for the sympathetic um, innervation and because this is not really reproductive um, not to get confused with the uterus and ovaries kind of category. This is actually in the pelvis. So T12 through L2 is the most likely source uh, where you're going to have sympathetic changes. All right. Cholecystitis. Someone presents with uh, right upper quadrant pain. It's positive when they breathe in. And um, they have like, they hesitate when they inhale um, because they have an irritated gallbladder. They have stones. Um, all of that. Where is the tissue texture change going to be if it's just a sympathetic innervation? Okay, um, we think this is upper GI, this is attached to the pancreas, um, by the liver. So here we go, T5 through T9, boom, that's it. Options are going to be T2, uh, T7, T10, and L2. You pick which one is in that house of golden category, move on. All right, final one is bronchitis. Someone comes in, they've been coughing a lot. They have, um, you know, just a lot of chest pain. They've been sick for a couple days. They're coughing up phlegm. Um, where, and you do an OMM exam and you're feeling for um, like a ro um, rotation and side bending and poor flexion or extension abnormality. And you find something, it's going to say, what level is it going to be at? This is in the lungs. That's all. So. Hopefully you guys get every question right. If you have any questions, comment below.